Um, I'm made and nurtured in cities, born in New York City, and have very deep roots here in Philadelphia. The top photo is my mom and nine of her 10 older siblings. They were born at Pennsylvania Hospital, and they grew up in what was uh, Queen Village. The bottom photo was my dad when he was five years old with his father, his grandfather, and his great-grandfather. The Frisbees, we've been in Philadelphia since the 1800s, and um, I'm the fifth generation to live in Philadelphia. But I've lived in other places. I've lived in D.C., as you saw on the prior slide, um, and had the great opportunity of working on urban policy while I was there. Um, I also got in a little trouble. I ended up at the White House Christmas party where Monica Lewinsky gave President Clinton the red tie. And so that landed me in the Star Report. And so after the Star Report, the only place to go after the Star Report is actually to Hollywood. And so then I landed in LA and I was running Rock the Vote and um, met Arnold Schwarzenegger and then worked for him for four years. And so LA is a city too, even though it has lots of palm trees. Um, and so um, I love cities and been nurtured in them, um, but I came back home to Philadelphia. It was love that brought me back to Philadelphia. And um, my husband, um, who was then my fiance, yesterday we were married 15 years and he's in the room. And uh, so he brought me back to Philly. And, um, but Philly, I, we came back at just the right time. It was growing. Um, we've seen an increase in population for seven straight years. But at the same time, we're still not doing as well as we could be economically. And so part of that is that in cities like Seattle, where they have an eight to one ratio for every eighth person, that has a college degree, there's one person with less than a high school diploma. In Philly, we have a one-to-one -one ratio. So we've got to do some work um, to get more talented people living here um, and developing those people that already live here. And so at Knight Foundation, we have a new challenge, the Knight Cities Challenge. And we're asking for the biggest, the boldest, the best ideas around how to make cities more successful. We're asking for ideas around how to attract and retain talent, how to create economic opportunity for everyone, and how to spur civic engagement. Because we think those things make cities successful. And so as all of our challenges, the idea, um, the first phase is only 150 word application. Uh, well, it's actually 300 this time because you have 150 words for the first question and 150 words for the second question. And so, but it's very simple. Anyone can apply. You can apply, you can apply. I mean, if David won a Night Arts Challenge, anyone can apply. So, you can be a for profit, a non profit, an individual, a city government. We want everybody to apply. You just have to have big ideas. We are looking for, um, we're going to judge them on impact and innovation and whether or not they're inspiring. And so if you've got a great big idea, please apply to Night Cities Challenge, nightcities.org.